back, all right? The first, uh, the Civil War film, mm -hmm. I assume you'd have a lot of pressure on your shoulders with this character. Uh, and now, with the resounding success of your portrayal of Peter Parker, how does it feel? It's, I mean, when I watched Civil War and when that came out, the weight on my shoulders was definitely lifted. But it's now all back on again oh, because of course. it was. Of course. We had such a wonderful uh, response from everyone, and everyone was so supportive that I now have even more of a duty to do this character justice. And and what John's vision is, and what Kevin Feige wants to bring to this character, I think is so perfect for this for this movie. And uh, I'm just really excited to explore it with them and and to make the best movie possible. So speaking of that, have you seen you've seen Cop Car? Mm -hmm, of course, yeah. Are there elements of Cop Car in uh, Sp Homecoming? I mean, it's very, it's obviously a very different movie, but I think the way that John shot the kids and how sort of uh, back and forth they were with each other and the relationship they had, one of the most, one of the coolest things that John's done with us is make sure that all of us got on. He sent us to the aquarium and he had us bonding every day and having, going out for picnics and stuff so that we've really just become the best of friends. So I, I heard, I wasn't at the uh, panel and fans who were watching this weren't at the panel. I heard some big news with a certain villain was shown. Can you tell the fans what they meant? Well, our villain is the Vulture, and he is terrifying. I mean, it's not, it's not like anything I've ever seen. It's, it's, it's actually, it is terrifying. It is unbelievable. What the artists have done and what they've come up with is so inventive and so cool. And, uh, and I'm so excited for everyone to see more. I mean, so am I. I haven't really seen anything, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Well, thanks so much for taking the time. We appreciate it. Is there, Spider-Man has obviously been on lockdown news-wise, only a couple trinkets of information. Is there anything for fans who missed the panel, what you can say besides, I know that you had some big villain news. Yeah, big villain news. <laughs> but um, what I can say is for anybody who doesn't know, what's about to happen in this dope movie is it's very, you know, it's, it's very real. You know what I'm saying? It's really focusing on what it's like to be a teenager, to, to grow up in New York, to, to live, to be awkward, to be, I mean, everybody at some point has been an awkward teenager, right? And if you think you were cool, you probably weren't, right? So it just kind of explores what that really is like, you know what I mean? And, and how he is able to balance it all. So it's very funny. So is there anything you can tell us about your character? Um, not really, not much. I just I can say that she's very smart, very intellectual, always in her books. Um, kind of weird, which we like, which I like personally. Um, and always like throwing little one-liners at her friends, you know what I mean? Kind of digging on them. But um, always to herself, always. So, yeah. Well, thanks so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. So, so for fans who weren't at the Hall H panel, what did they miss Spidey-wise? They missed an amazing sizzle reel showing amazing photos of all the Avengers in high school, high school photos, their high school photos. They also missed the amazing Laura Harrier with an amazing hair flip. Well, now they just got it. They also missed an amazing handshake created by our very own Tom Holland and Jacob Baldemont. They also missed me giving my meanest look to Tom um, and they missed plenty more, but guess what, guys? I'm sure it'll come out soon enough. You just have to be a little more patient. Is there anything that you can tell us about your characters that you're allowed to speak on? Um, I'm playing Liz Allen, and, you know, we, me and Peter have some things going on. It's exciting. He's very cute. <laughs> Today's, like, officially the first day I can finally say I'm yeah. Ned, and, uh, I'm his best buddy, so, yeah. Likewise, today is the first day I can say I am playing Flash Thompson. I am the bully, I am the meanie, and um, come to fear me. I love it. I love it. Thanks, guys. Um, so I'm going to mention Cop Car first. So I, I asked Tom this, and I, like I said, I loved that movie so much. Is, what Are there elements of Cop Car in Homecoming? I mean, they both definitely ha have... Uh, kids in danger. <laughs> that, I guess that's a trend in my work is putting children in terrible danger. Um, I mean, hopefully it's just sort of trying to capture a little bit of an observational, naturalistic quality of being a, being a teenager and uh, that sort of world. But 
No, we got a lot more. We, got, we can do a lot more in Spider-Man than Cop Car. Was it so? So Cop Car was obviously like I consider it an independent film, yeah. and now it's your boot into the big leagues. Yeah. Like, what, what what's it feeling like right now? It feels great. I mean, we had no, nothing on Cop Car. Like, we had to count the amount of bullets that we could use because we couldn't afford more than a certain amount, and that's less of an issue now. <laughs> so it's really it's like having the biggest toy set in the world. Like, I'm having so much fun. Uh, was this your first Hall H? Yeah. What was that like? Uh, it's surreal. I mean, it's amazing. It's like the best energy. And it's nerve-wracking to show something that you've just started working on be cut into a trailer. Um, but everyone seemed to like it, so that's cool. So tell us what fans missed at the panel, because I know that uh, there was some villain news and anything else you want to uh, Yeah, we, um, what, did, what did we learn? Uh, we got to see some sweet footage of the vulture in action so that's great so vultures in the movie um, and a bunch of high school stuff I forget it's all a daze like I don't even remember like I was basically watching that for the first time too so amazing. yeah thank you so much man I gotta say everyone should watch cop car and obviously everyone has to thank watch you. homecoming so yes. thanks for taking watch the time both.